Hey guys, welcome back to new Pilates video. Today we're going to do a full body flow. A lot of like stretching in between to really like waken up that body and to feel good. So come at the end of the mat. I want you to, actually I'm gonna stand in the middle, you can come at the end. <laughs> Relax those hips, the body, and roll the shoulders back a couple times back. Warming up that spine and roll forward. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Reach the arms up. I want you to really lengthen out and come on your tippy toes and reach to the ceiling as far as possible. Really lengthen yourself. Use every single inch to reach up. Come back. Five times, come up and down. Keep reaching to the sky and come down. Grab your left arm and reach over to the right side and really feel that extension through the left side of your body. Feel the side muscles, your core, the shoulders. Keep your chest nice, wide and open. Don't fall forward. Open up the chest, deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, come back to the middle, reach up to the sky, grab your right arm and reach over to the left side. Really feel that nice, deep stretch. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. I want you to bend the knees, reach the arms up to the sky and do this a couple times. When down and up, warming up those legs. Go as deep as possible, but keeping your spine straight so not moving forward, but keep your chest up. Great job, just warming up that body. Press those glutes together and one more. Now, I want you to pull in those abdominals and roll bone by bone, like you're rolling over a ball, roll back down. Grab your hamstrings and pull yourself a couple inches further. Try to reach your nose underneath your legs to the other side of the room. Really feel that deep stretch here in your legs and your hamstrings. Fold the arms together and wiggle from side to side. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Place the arms on the ground, bend the knees and slowly roll back up and shake it out. Okay, we woke up that body a little. I'm going to add little ankle weights. You can do this at home. If you don't have ankle weights at home, don't worry, you can still do all the exercises without. This just makes it a little bit more challenging today. Working that full body. So heels are hip wide apart, shoulders are open, slight bend into the knee. Reach the arms up to the sky. Pull those abdominals in and again, we're slowly rolling back down. Walk over to a plank position. Hold here, lengthen through that spine for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring your left knee in and reach it far up to the sky. And reach the knee towards the elbow and back up. Do this a couple times. Again, warming up that body, using those abdominals and those shoulders. Keep breathing. Just feel this motion like working your full body, getting motion in there. There we go. And then we're holding it up here. 10 little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bend the knee and open up your hip to the side. Just feel that deep stretch. Come back in, bring the feet between your hands. Now open up towards the left, so your left hand reaches up to the sky. Open up that chest. Neck is long, spine is long. And feel that deep stretch here. And we're holding for five, four, three, two and one, bring the arm down, bring the leg back and coming to a downward 
dog. Press those heels into the ground, press those hands on the ground, feel the deep hamstring and give your body a nice little walk, a little wiggle. Great job. Come back into a plank position, right knee towards the chest and reach it up and lengthen it through the sky. Point that toe, knee comes back to chest and reach back up. We're doing this a couple times. Make sure to engage that core. Lengthening and strengthening all these muscles. Relax your shoulders. Great job. And two more. Two and one. 10 little poses up here. Lengthen through that leg like you wanna reach the ceiling in the other side of the room. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend the knee, open up the side, really open up that hip. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back to a plank position. Bring the light, right leg in between your hands. Now rotate that upper body and bring the right arm towards the sky. Your eyes are following, looking up to your hand, to the ceiling. Or Relax those shoulders and take a deep breath into the nose and exhale through the mouth. Feel this deep stretch and come back to the middle. Bring the left heel down. I want you to reach your arm up and come into a deep stretch right here. Really stretching out the left hip, those shoulders, deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, I want to rotate your upper body and really feel that deep, deep stretch right here. Come back to the middle. We're going to switch the legs, bring your left leg forward, up, take a deep inhale. On the exhale, reach the arms up to the sky and let your body fall forward. Your knee is above your ankle, pull the abdominals in and feel the deep stretch here on the right side of your hip. Inhale through the nose. On the exhale, we rotate the upper body to the left side. You can press your right arm into your left leg and really feel that deep stretch right here. A lot of us have really tight hips, or even though we don't really notice it in daily life, but it can cause a lot of like imbalance through to your neck, to your shoulders. And if you feel you have tight hips, also follow um, some of my recovery videos, which I posted during like wellness month. Amazing. And come back to all fours. Okay, we're going to work the butt a little bit. Bring your left knee a couple inches off the floor and reach it out for 10, nine, eight, seven. So reach and squeeze. I want you to really squeeze that glute, squeeze the butt right here. Four, three, Two, and one, hold here, 10 little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knee in, flex the heel, donkey kick up here, 90 degree angle, 10, nine, and once you're up here, I want you to give your butt a little extra squeeze right there. Seven, six, squeeze and down. Lengthen through that spine. Four, three, two, and one. 10 little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down. I want you to go to the right elbow. I want you to open up that left hip and slowly come back down. Fire hydrate 10 times. 
So I want, while you're going up, squeeze it up here and slowly come back down. I want you to work when you're pushing up, but also when you're going down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold up here, 10 circles forward. Almost like an orange shape, so keep it very small and controlled. Eight, seven, six, five. I know it's burning, but we're working all those inner deep muscles right here. Four, three, two, and one, and rotate. Other side, go backwards. Try not to put too much pressure in that upper body. Really lean a little back. Four, three, two, and one. Come into a deep child's pose and lengthen those arms long. The head rests on the ground. Take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Roll to an all fours. We're going to do a couple cat cows right here. We're stretching out that back in and out. In and out. Maybe you want to give your body some extra movement. Maybe you want to roll it a little from side to side. Do whatever feels good. Meet me in an all fours right now with a straight spine. Neck is long. Bring your right knee a couple inches off the ground. Extend it long and press it out. In and out. Squeeze up there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, hold it back up here. Eyes are in front of you, spine is straight, pull those abdominals in, 10 little pulses, 10, nine, really squeeze through that glute, through those legs. You really wanna lengthen that leg as far as possible. Four, three, two, and one. Bring the heel in, flex the foot, 90 degree angle, kick it up in a donkey kick, squeeze up here and lower back down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here. And don't put too much weight in your upper body. Keep it here and 10 little pulses. Push through that heel to the sky. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five. Focus on that breath. Keep breathing. Wanting to work all those little muscles right there. Four, three, two, and one. I'm turning around. You can stay in the same position. Just want to show you from this side. Bring your left elbow to the ground. In a fire hydrant, open up that right leg as high as possible and move it slowly back down. So up, squeeze, working that inner thigh to the outer thigh and down. Eight, seven, pull the abdominals in. Those are also working here. Six, five, four, I know it's burning. Push through, three, two, and one. Hold up here, 10 little circles up. Make sure there is a very small and controlled, they're like an orange shape, so very tiny. Five, four, three, two, and one. And come back, 10, nine, eight, seven, or reverse, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down. Coming back into the deep child pose and lengthen those arms along. Walk the left or walk the arms over to the left. And really let yourself fall into this deep stretch. 
focus on that breath. I want you to take a deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, relax your whole body a couple more inches into the ground. And walk over to the right, same thing. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Great job. Okay, coming to or all fours. Hands are shoulder wide apart. Pull the abdominals in. Shoulders are wide, neck is long. Now on the inhale, slowly push the shoulders down. The exhale, push the shoulders out, in and out. We're just prepping our shoulders and our arms right here. So it's really important if you wanna work on a little bit of a better posture. Doing this four more times. Four, three, two, and one. Maybe shake out those arms for a second. There we go. Extend the right leg long, extend the left leg long, and hold here in a plank position for 10, nine, hips are low, abdominals are in, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your right knee to your right elbow and look over to the right side, bring it back to a plank position, and reach the left knee to the left elbow, doing it 10 times. And slow and controlled, keep the hips low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold up here, come to your knees. We're going into six push ups right here, slow and controlled. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And shake your arms out. We're going to work a little bit of the outer thighs and the inner thighs. So come lay flat on the mat. I always call this a lazy workout even though you're really working all those inner muscles every side of your leg. Okay, bring your left arm in front of you. The right hand supports your, supports your hat. Now really squeeze those glutes, squeeze those legs. I want you to lift the leg high and down. 10, nine, Find it hard in balance, move them a little on the front corner of the mat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold up here. Again, tiny little circles forward. This is an orange shape, so very small and controlled. I don't want you to put too much pressure on here. This is just to keep balance. Five, four, three, two, and one. And reverse up here. Lift the leg a little higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the knees in. I want you to press the heels together. The heel comes up. So this is your starter position. I want you to extend it right long into a diagonal position and meet it back here, knee to knee. The heels are apart. 10, nine. The reason why we're using all different types of angles is because we are using all different types of muscles right here. We wanna target everything. So finding the right direction is very important right here. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here, knee to knee. We're opening it up here like a fire hydrant. And slowly come back down for 10, nine. We're starting to feel that burn right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold up here. 
Again, 10 little circles forward. Or in shape, keep it small and controlled. 10, nine, smile and relax. Eight, seven, six, five. Push through that burn. We're almost there. We're just going to reverse in four, three, two, and one. And go back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back down. You can hit your butt a little bit. That was some great intense work right here. Push yourself up. We are going to the other side. Again, if this is a little bit too hard, you can also take off the ankle waves and also do this completely without. So lay flat back on the mat. Left hand come behind your head. The right arm comes in front of you. Lift your legs, reaching to the diagonal of the room. Again, this arm in front is purely for balance and not completely to lean. So open up the chest, lengthen the legs and really squeeze. Just give your legs a little bit of three big squeezes so you like feel the difference right here when you're actually activating all the muscles. Reach the arm in front of you. Bring the leg up and down, a little bit above hip height for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 is the last leg series right here, so give everything, 4, 3, 2, and 1, hold it up here, 10 little pulses, 10. Nine. Oh wait, we did little circles the other side. <laughs> okay, we're going 10 little circles forward in, a, in an orange shape for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here, reverse, we're going back. Small and controlled circles. Maybe you wanna go a little slower that's totally fine as long as this motion is controlled. I know I feel that burn too in four, three, two, and one. Bring the heels in, 45 degree angle. Knees are together, heels are apart. Inhale through the nose and on the exhale, I want you to squeeze and reach the right leg out into a side diagonal. Or almost to like a, yeah. What is this called? Point direction. <laughs> anyway, we're going that way up into the air. There we go for eight, seven, six. Feel that burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back in, heels together, toes together, opening up the leg into a fire hydrant and slowly move back down. Again, going sl slowly down is as important as going up. We're working both ways right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it up and we're slowly rotating up here. Little circles forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay the leg up, 10 little circles backwards. I know I feel that burn, this is the last exercise. Push through right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and slowly come back down. I want you to press it out a little and come to your back. Bring your right leg on top of the left. Just gonna stretch out the hips a little bit. I know I feel the burn. And really pull that left leg towards your chest. And take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Let everything go, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Feel the nice deep stretch here. 
and switch to the other side. The left comes over the right, bend the knee and gently press or pull your right leg towards your chest. Really feel that nice deep stretch here on the hip and the glutes. There we go. Okay, we're going into a little ab series to for the end of today's workout. So we want you to bring your arms behind your neck, bring your legs into a tabletop, take a deep inhale through the nose, and the exhale, slowly coming to a sit up and back down. Doing this 10 times, just warming up that spine. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold up here, 10 times, toes to the mat. Nine, eight, the shoulders are up. If you experience back pain, you can also put your arms behind. Otherwise, just keep your shoulders up. Four, three, two, and one. Come back to the middle. Now I want you to rotate that upper body and reach the right leg to the ground and come back down. Other side, 10, nine. Slowly tap on the ground, rotate that upper body. Really reach that right armpit to your knee and not just the elbow. Rotate that upper body. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to the middle and come into a slow, full bicycle right here. So again, the upper body rotates and slowly move the legs long. You're reaching the other side of the room, lengthening those muscles, working those abdominals. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back up, bring your hands behind or above your legs. Heels together, toes apart, knees are apart. Now roll slowly back up, come into a seated position, and slowly, like you're rolling like a ball, come back down and come back up. Shoulders are wide and neck is long. Ready, use your abdominals here. Back down a couple times. Okay, I want you to stay here. Place your elbows on the ground. Chest is wide open and you're on your toes. Bring your legs into a tabletop. Extend the right leg long, bring it back. Extend the left leg long. Keep the chest nice, wide and open. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, feel that burn, four, three, two, and one. Press yourself up coming into a boat position right here. Extend the legs long and come back in for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, 10, nine, maybe loosen the arms, come into a V, eight, seven, six, five, chest is wide open, lengthen through the leg, four, three, two, and one, and slowly come back down. Give yourself a nice little hug. Okay, we're coming into a side plank. This will be the last three exercises of today's workout. Coming into a side plank, reach the right arm long, press the hip nice and up, feel those side abdominals, bring the right leg forward, and we're just going to hold 
for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Down, hip down, and reach back up for 10, 9, also put the arm here, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come through the middle, come to the other side, where arm is up, chest is wide open and we're going to hold here. Really squeeze the butt, hip is up, I don't want you to hang in here, shoulders are strong for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, hip dip, come back up for 10, 9, strong core, strong shoulders, relax the neck, keep breathing, focus on that breath, 4, 3, 2, and 1, come back to here middle into a plank position last 20 seconds hold right here keep breathing inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one and come back Come lay down on the mat, bring the right knee towards your chest, extend the left leg long and really pull that knee in. Give your hip a nice deep stretch. You can pull a little to the outside if that feels good or pull a little to the inside, whatever feels good. You guys did an amazing job. This was a low intensity, but Really working all the muscles. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Bring the leg back, bring the left knee towards your chest. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Maybe move a little to the side. You can also open up that hip right here. Bring the leg long, palms are facing towards the mat. Shoulders are wide and relax. Relax every single muscle in your body. Close your eyes. Think about your feet. Relax your legs, your legs. Take all the tension out of your lower body, out of the pelvis, moving up. We're taking a deep inhale, filling up those lungs. And on the exhale, we're letting all the tension in the upper body go. Shoulders, neck, and arms. Inhale through the nose. Last breath, exhale through the mouth. Open up your eyes and roll over to the left and press yourself up. You guys are all done for today's workout. I'm so proud of you. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked it, how you enjoyed it, how you experienced it. I always really, really appreciate all you guys' feedback and it's so helpful for me when I'm creating new workouts. So please let me know down below and I will see you guys very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned on all new videos.